Okay, let's look at how to calculate acid-base association constant. All right, the first thing you got to know is that there are two formulas. There's one that uh, is for acids and one that is for bases. All right, so Ka, I'm going to tell you what these things stand for. So Ka, that stands for the acid dissociation constant. All right, and sticking with the acid formula, H plus in brackets, that's basically the concentration of the H plus, or basically it's the molarity of the H plus. The brackets mean concentration of molarity. Okay, A negative. Okay, A stands for anion molarity and HA in brackets, uh, that stands for the acid that you start with, so the acid molarity. So let's go to the next screen and I'll show you how you would write, uh, uh, they call this when you write the formula out, writing the expression. So let's go to the next screen and I'll demonstrate how to do that. All right, so it says write the expression for the dissociation of acetic acid. So the first of all, you'd want to have the general formula. So Ka is equal to H plus times the anion divided by the acid concentration. So what you would do is have acetic acid, which is CH3COOH. And when you put that in water, it's going to dissociate into the acetate ion, CH3CO-1, plus a hydrogen ion. So what you do to write the expression, you go Ka is equal to H plus, the concentration of H plus. Okay, now instead of writing A, you put in the anion, which is CH3COO minus 1. And you divide that by the total, the concentration of the acid, which is CH3COO. H. That's how you write an expression. Uh, let's look at one for a base. Okay, so it says write the expression for the dissociation of ammonia. And so what we'd have to do is we'd have to go back to the general formula. And you can see that the Kb equals the conjugate acid concentration times the hydroxide concentration divided by the base concentration. So let's write that formula. So, okay, so we have Kb equals the conjugate acid concentration times the, oops, times the OH concentration divided by the base concentration. So what you would have is you'd have uh, if you put ammonia in water, okay, in this case you kind of show the water, so sometimes you admit it with acid, but that makes NH4 plus 1 plus, and it's supposed to be plus 1, plus uh, you would get OH minus 1. So to write the expression for Kb, that would be equal to the conjugate acid concentration, and maybe I should probably put it probably positive, so you would put oops, NH4 plus 1, that's your conjugate acid, times the hydroxide, which is OH negative 1, that concentration, and you would divide that by your base, in this case it's just 